If you ever download an 808 or a loop off the internet and they're unlabeled, you know how hard it can be to tune them in order to get them to match. Today, I'm gonna be walking you guys through two examples of how to tune any 808 to any loop. So let's get into it. This is the loop that we're going to start off with. As you guys can hear, it's a pretty simple loop. There's not too many layers in it and it's pretty simple melodically. So in this situation, the technique to do is to convert it into MIDI. So what you need to do is go and click into your loop, right click the waveform down here and click edit. At this point, what we're going to do is click the plus sign and add sampler in. Make sure it's highlighted. This rectangle should be green here. And we're going to go back into our loop here, go into the tool section and click this option here, convert to score and dump to piano roll. So what this does is it analyzes the loop and it gives you the MIDI for what's playing. As you guys can see, it's pretty all over the place. It's not going to be completely accurate, but it's going to give you a rough guideline as to which notes are playing. The notes that are repeating, you guys can see here, here, and here. These are most likely the notes that are going to be playing. So we're going to use those as a guideline for our 808. So next up, we're going to tune our 808 now. So now what we're going to do again, go select the sample, right click the waveform, click edit. This time we're going to go into this menu here. So click the marker flag here and click detect pitch regions. So this is going to tell you what the note is. As you guys can see here, it says E2. Now what may happen sometimes is going to tell you a bunch of different notes at the beginning of the sample here. For example, this says G2 here, and then it says E2. What's happening here is the 808 is changing frequencies, but what we need to pay attention to is the section that has the largest part of the 808. So that's going to be this part here. So now that we know that it's E2, what we're going to do is go back into our sample section here. You can do this a couple of different ways. You can go into the miscellaneous functions here by clicking this wrench. And what we're going to do now is right click E. So we have C, D, E. So right click here. And you can see the root note now is E. And now it's tuned. Conversely, what you can do is go into a piano roll. You can see where E is. So that's this note here. And that is one, two, three, four notes away from C. So in order to get the E to be a C, we can pitch this down four notes. So you can go into the sample settings here, pitch this down 400 cents, which is four semitones. Now we have a tuned 808. This is just a couple different ways that you can go about tuning your 808. So now what we're going to do is take the pattern that we got from our initial MIDI roll here, copy this into the 808 pattern. Now I'm going to clean this up a little bit so it's not as messy. Now this section here is either an A sharp or an F sharp. So I'm going to play both just to see which one fits better. As well, this F down here, it's just way too low. It's in a lower octave. So I'm going to bring it up. So let's hear how this sounds now. And now I'll test to see if this was actually an F sharp, but it sounds like A sharp actually fits. So it sounds like both actually work. It depends on whatever I want to do at this point. So this gives me a basic framework to start from. Now I can start building out a more elaborate 808 pattern. I did a video a few weeks back on 808 patterns. So you guys can check that out if you have trouble coming up with 808 patterns yourself. So this is one way we can go about tuning our 808 to match our loop, but this doesn't always work. For example, I have this loop here. This loop has a few more layers in it. So let's see what happens when I try to use the exact same technique here. Again, I'm going to go into my sample settings, right click the loop, edit, add in a sampler layer here, make sure it's highlighted, click the toolbar, convert the score and dump to piano roll. And as you guys can see, when I look at the MIDI pattern here, this is telling me that my loop consists of the exact same note, A sharp playing over and over again, which is clearly wrong. So this technique is not going to work here, but what you can try to do in this situation is something else here. So what I'm going to try next is to try and root out some of the layers in this loop. So I'm going to open up an EQ and get rid of a lot of the high frequencies here. And I'm going to try to exaggerate the lower ones so I can try to simplify what's going on. And hopefully FL Studio is going to be able to analyze this a little bit better. All right, so now that I have this loop simplified in terms of its frequency range, I'm going to arm disc recording here, click the mixer options, disc recording, render to wave files, click start. So this is going to give me a new layer here to work with. 
I'm gonna to try to do the exact same thing and try to analyze this. As you guys can see, this isn't all that helpful either. It's not giving me the accurate representation of what's actually going on. So in this situation, what I'd recommend is learning how to do this manually. This is a useful thing to learn just because you're gonna run into these situations where all your tools don't work, they fail you. And so learning how to do this stuff manually is a really useful skill to learn. So I've showed you guys this before. So what I like to do is add a synth, any old synth into your project here. And what I'm gonna to try to do is play along. Now this might sound very difficult. This used to be something that would overwhelm me when I first started making piece, but all we have to do is take it one step at a time. Listening to this version, it just sounds like there's way too much going on and it might overwhelm me. So what I'm gonna do again is just simplify things, get rid of the layers on top, just so I can hear the root notes. Now I'm gonna go into my synth here. Again, this might seem super overwhelming. You look at all these keys and you have no idea where to start, which one it could be. But again, to simplify, this is only one of 12 notes here. So we just gotta play around and figure out step-by-step step which notes are being played in our loop. So if you guys remember from our original export, we had a ton of A sharp. So let's just start there. Maybe one of these notes is an A sharp. So it sounds like our A sharp is actually this note here. And the note before and after it are the exact same note. And then it goes up. So let's try an A. Let's see how that sounds. And the last note here is a little bit higher. So if I were to take this pattern here and copy it over to an 808, So again, this is just a starting point to create a more elaborate 808 pattern. Again, if you guys have trouble coming up with your own 808 patterns, I'd recommend watching the video from a few weeks back. So this is the beat that I eventually came up with here. And there you guys have it. I was able to tune my 808 to match my loop perfectly and I was able to make a beat out of this easily once I was able to figure that out. Once again, guys, please do like, subscribe, leave a comment down below if you found this video helpful. My free drum kit is available to download in the description box below. And I'll see you guys next Tuesday.